Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us on the web at waldenchurch.com. Uh, we have services every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and 11 o'clock. Our 9.30 service is our traditional service with hymns and favorite carols, and our 11 o'clock service is our contemporary service with our worship team. This year, our Christmas theme is Peace Has Come. And it's not some peace that we look forward to in the future, but it's a peace that's already here. The Bible promises us that peace came with the birth of Jesus. Jesus brought peace. So peace is here. And I felt certainly uh, after living through 2020, we could all use a little bit more peace, right? So I'm reading our Christmas devotional that we had printed for everyone. Just going to sit in front of the Christmas tree, throw it up on YouTube and sit down together and we'll all just kind of have a moment. Our reading today is called Miracle in a Manger. The passage is from Luke chapter 2 and we're going to read verses 4 through 7. Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who is with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. You know, if God had come that Christmas as a full-grown, muscular man, people might have expected that. That's how they were used to picturing God, as something that was huge and big and strong. But a baby? Babies are weak. Babies are helpless. Babies need to be cared for by other people. And even as Jesus grew older, he didn't become powerful or wealthy. So... Why would anybody notice him? Most people didn't. But let's not miss the miracle of the manger. God often uses weak things to become strong. God uses the underdog to subvert an empire. He used a boy to take down a giant. With God, things don't always go the way we expect. I know it's possible to look in the mirror and wonder if God can use you. Could you lead a Bible study? Could you teach a Sunday school class? Could you organize a community event? Could you tell your neighbor about Jesus? Absolutely. God still does great things through people just like you and me. And as I read the Christmas story, I'm always struck by the majesty of it. Only God could have come up with a story like this one. God became flesh. What a beautiful and wonderful thing. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our December 17th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go. I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.